Embattled Police Chief Abba Kiari has claimed that the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, has been assisting drug dealers to bring in cocaine to Nigeria. This newspaper earlier reported that Kiari and four other police officers under the IRT were arrested in February for attempting to bribe an NDLA officer with $61,000 to facilitate the release of seized cocaine. Politics Nigeria learned that Kiari made a claim in a 500 million naira fundamental rights enforcement suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 182 slash 22. The disgraced police officer accused the anti drug agency of assisting drug peddlers to ship in cocaine into the country. He also stated that he was framed by a disgruntled officer of the agency after he went to demand compensation for the whistleblower that gave information that led to the arrest of his suspect. An affidavit filed by Kiari's brother, one Mama No, rehearsed the claim, stating that drugs were being shipped in from Ethiopia with the knowledge of NDLEA officers. Narrating the entire situation in the suit, Kiari stated, that on that fateful day, the suspect, as usual, shipped drugs from Ethiopia to Enugu Airport. The officer of NDLA cleared him within the airport. Then officers of FIB IRT arrested the suspect with the help of an informant. Now, before the informant accepted to work with the officers of FIB IRT, they both had an agreement to compensate the informant. That officer of FIB IRT, having noticed that officers of the NDLA were the ones clearing the said suspect with the drugs, they immediately took the suspect to NDLA and also reported those officers involved in the act. That instead of the NDLA to handle the matter accordingly and bring their officers involved to book, they decided to frustrate the informant, thereby refusing to compensate the informant. That it was at the junction that the attention of the DCP, Abba Kiari, was called, who, because the NDLA officer involved is his friend, decided to intervene for the purpose of compensating the informant. That the NDLA officer, who refused to compensate the informant, was the one who framed DCP Abba Kiari up, on a Trump-up allegation that he was trying to bribe him. The agent of the respondent declared the applicant wanted because of a mere allegation that he was trying to bribe an NDLA officer without sufficient proof. Also that the Nigerian police force, based on the allegation of the respondent, arrested the applicant on February 12, 2022 and handed over to the NDLA. Kiari's bail hearing comes up on March 28th at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Finally, Abba Kiari has decided to open up. You know, corruption in Nigeria is, is real. Not just in Nigeria, it's with um, top officials, federal government agencies, top officials. And the, the, very com- the most common thing is that um, um, when they talk about corruption, the, the hands of those involved will shock you, truly, truly. If we recall uh, um, last year, the, uh, the problem that um, the former EFCC boss had, Ibrahim Magu, how he was removed, you know, him being arrested by um, DSS for questioning and all of that. And when he was interviewed, when he was asked questions that, uh, what do you think is going on? All he could tell Nigerians was that, uh, Everything happening to him was a case of dog eat dog. And Nigerians were stating at that time that do yourself good and expose whoever you want to expose. Don't die alone. A case of dog eat dog. Um, if you don't call names, if you don't speak out, you'll be the one to die alone. I believe Abba Kiari, most probably he's looked at the case, the way everything is going. And uh, it's time for him to open up because this is uh, the case didn't just come up today, but he has decided to open up. Now he's stating that um, NDLA officers, they are the ones that have been working hand to hand with a uh, uh, um, drug um, cartel in clearing their, their drugs. So they cover them up. 
give them cover and then um, declare their drugs but um uh, baba Kari has brought up this <laughs> this one is a new version what he's explaining right now is that um um because uh ndla refused to like settle the informant that they framed him up his story uh <laughs> is quite convincing but he should tell this um in the courts the next hearing is for the 28th of march we saw the last time they were arraigned they were not even in good shape abba Kari and four others uh were arrested for this allegation against them trying to bribe um NDLA officer with about 61,000 US dollars in order to facilitate the release of seized cocaine. Abakiari, if he's able to convince the judge, convince them, then um, he would go free. You know, it, it, a lot of things uh, are happening to Abakiari at this time, this same time. The FBI case, the US FBI case, uh, that of um, Hush Puppy, that one is still there. It's not gone away. Well, for him to be um, opening up now, I believe that uh, maybe he's thought about it that uh, is the best way to go. But at the end of the day, he should be very sure that um, his hands are clean as well, because he cannot just bring up this story and think that um, he will uh, he will just go scot free. If his hands are not clean, it will come back on him and whoever he was working with within the NDLA. Everything right now, the way the whole case looks, Abba Kiari's hands. I've been dragged into this because of one form of connection, you know, in his own report. It wasn't him directly involved. It was his friend and he was only called in when his friend was the informant. He was only called in when the NDLA refused to settle the informant who is linked to him, who is his friend. And he's claiming that that is how everything happened. Well, he should be convincing enough if he's able to convince the judge that that is the only um connection he has and we hope that um, before the 28th of march that the story doesn't change because we've had history of him um, changing his statement you know that of hush puppy he initially gave a statement that it was tailor relationship the next thing he changed it again that it was uh he was trying to collect debt uh um on behalf of hush puppy so this statement he has given now trying to open up that um ndla they're the ones who have been assisting the drug barons to ship cocaine to the country that is only at the point when they try to get compensation for exposing this drug um, uh, um, cartel. Yeah, it's at this point because they refuse to compensate. That that's why they are framing him up. We'll see all of these plays. I'll leave us a take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.